You want a tattoo, but you don't have ink to tattoo with. Well, that's okay. Because in this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way ever to create tattoo ink. I'm also going to show you proof that it actually works as I tattoo myself with this ink. When you see this, you're going to have a hard time believing that you can use ink created this way to actually tattoo with. But I promise you, this is a tried and true method of making ink that I used to use personally for years while I was in the jail waiting to go to prison. This is the easiest way ever to create tattoo ink. And you really need little to nothing to make this ink. So let's begin. What you will need. First, you're going to need a number two pencil. This is the most important part of this ink creating process. It has to be a number two pencil. You're also going to need water, tissue, toothpaste, but not for the actual toothpaste, just for the cap. This is where we're going to actually put the ink inside of, cap on the top of the toothpaste, a hammer, one single sheet of paper, and also tin foil. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take apart this number two pencil. What's inside of this pencil is graphite. The graphite inside of this pencil is what we're going to use to create our ink from. Now I know a lot of you are seeing this saying, whoa, 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 you can't tattoo with pencils, that's lead. There's no lead in these pencils. Uh, I don't even think they make lead based pencils anymore. All pencils, as far as I know, are, are made with graphite and graphite can be broken down and turned into some very awesome tattoo ink. So we're going to take this number two pencil and we need to get this graphite out of this pencil. The easiest way that I know to do this is to actually chew on the pencil. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to bite the end until we crack the pencil. You can actually crack this pencil pretty much right down the center and then we're going to just start pulling the pencil apart. Okay so we're breaking the pencil apart and we're going to start taking the graphite out of the pencil. So we're going to take a couple of good sized pieces of this graphite from this pencil. We have a few little good sized pieces of graphite right here. That's going to be the first thing that you need when creating this ink. What we're going to do then is we're going to take our single sheet of paper. We're going to fold it in half like so. And we're going to fold the ends of the paper. We're actually going to make a little envelope out of this paper. Okay, so we've made our little envelope. We're going to open it up and we're going to stick our graphite down inside of the paper. We've got our graphite inside of our paper. We're going to fold the top just like an envelope. So we've made this little envelope. Now what we're going to do, make sure we have all of it in like one corner. And this is where the hammer comes in. We need to put this envelope on a hard surface, preferably like a concrete floor, maybe your garage floor, maybe the sidewalk outside, any sort of hard floor you can find. We're going to take this hammer and we're going to beat on this lightly. We're just going to tap it so we can crush this graphite. We're going to take our hammer and we're just going to lightly hit this so that we can crush this up. Our next step is going to be actually dissolving the graphite using water and that's going to be the consistency of our ink, graphite and water. What we're going to do, we're going to take our graphite and we're going to take our piece of tin foil. Now what we're going to do with this tin foil is we're going to fold this in half a couple of times. So we folded our tin foil. We've got our tin foil right here on the table. Next we're going to take our crushed up graphite and we're just going to dump that right there on our tin foil. Now if anybody walks in and actually catches you doing this, you've got tin foil on the table, you've got some black powder substance sitting on the tin foil, they're going to immediately think that you're doing drugs. So please folks, if your parents walk in and see you doing this, the first thing you need to tell them is this is not drugs, this is tattoo ink which they're probably going to be just as upset about. But here we are. Tin foil, graphite on our tin foil. We're going to take our tissue here. This is just a couple of sheets of tissue paper that I folded up. And we're going to put this in our water. But you don't want it dripping wet. You want it wet enough to where you can just drip off a couple of drips of water. We're going to add a couple of drops of water right onto our graphite. Not a whole lot, just a couple drops at first. The real magic is about to begin. We're going to take our finger and we're going to go right into where that water and graphite is at and we're just going to start pressing down onto it, rubbing it into that tin foil. And you're going to have to apply a little bit of pressure to this. Grab more graphite, bring it into that water, 
more graphite let's bring it into that water and what you're gonna start to see is this black inky paste on your finger folks that is gonna be tattoo ink let's get a little more water drip drip and let's continue to swirl that around applying enough pressure to where this will actually start to break down and dissolve We have now created our ink. Our next step is going to be to take our toothpaste cap and to transfer this ink into that cap. The easiest way to do this is to literally take your finger, run it through that ink like so, and then real easy, just scrape your finger across that cap, making sure that you're dropping that ink right inside of that cap. Just going to tap the cap right there on the table to settle the ink down into it. And folks, that right there is awesome pick and poke plucking tattoo ink. Want to see this ink in action? This is how you tattoo without a motor. Some people call it pick and poke. I call it pluck work. that's it the piece is completed I hope you enjoyed this video and if so please like and comment let me know exactly what you think also if you haven't done so please subscribe to after prison show 
I'm constantly making new content to entertain and educate on what life is like while incarcerated and what it's like after being locked up. Until next time, enjoy life, the free world, never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace! Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah.